So we've come to Cafe Mabini, which was uh, recommended to me by a beautiful person subscriber, and I can't remember who. And we're going to have breakfast here. With, I thought that Wak Wak was actually Wak Wak, uh, because there's a big golf course in the middle of the, the Wak Wak area. Uh, but, uh, and I thought someone with a sense of humour had named it Wak Wak. <laughs> but no, I was told it's actually Wak Wak, which means ghost. All right, let's, so let's go in. Hello, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Cafe. Oh, Thank you. I love this tree. It's got this tree that's growing in the middle of the cafe. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, I've decided to sit out the back. There's a courtyard. So this is Cafe Mabini, and now we're walking through Cafe Francesco, which isn't open yet. It opens at 11. It's only 10 a.m. Uh, and then they, both restaurants are owned by the same people, and they share this courtyard. Thank you. And just over, just behind me is a function room. Uh, and as I said, both of these places share this courtyard. It's lovely. Oh, so I'm talking to our waitress, Jocelyn. Hello, sure. Jocelyn. <laughs> Hi, sir. And uh, she's told me that Cafe Mabini was opened last year. So you opened during the pandemic? Yes, sir. Oh, good. That must have been tricky. Uh, and so Jocelyn's been here for about four years and she started at Cafe Francesco. It might sound a little bit uh, confusing, but it's not. Now, I believe that you have a Reuben sandwich. Yes, well, that's one of our popular sandwich here at Cafe It Cafe. is? Yes, well, and then the Ooh. next one is the Papa Cheesecake also. American cheddar, bell peppers and onions on sourdough with fried... Oh boy, that sounds nice. <laughs> I think I've got to try... I think I've got to try the Reuben sandwich though. Um, but to spice things up a bit, maybe I'll get a I'll get a Reuben sandwich, and then you've got the rice dishes, yes. rice and shine. Uh, and what's a for rice and shine, sir? Are what are your best sellers? Best sellers are grilled tapas, sir. Yeah. And then the. Mabini Pares uh -huh. and house corn beef. That's our homemade corn beef. Okay, well, if I'm getting Reuben sandwich, I won't get corn beef and corn beef. So you yes, make the same corn beef. Yeah, beef. right. You make the corn beef here. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> is there lots of corn beef in the Reuben sandwich? Yes, sir. Oh. Same portion as the rice and Yeah, I'll have the Reuben sandwich, please. And. I'll have the tapa cheesecake. Tapa does, cheesecake. Does, does that come with rice or? No, sir, it comes with fries. Oh, with fries? Both. Right. Oh, yeah, right, fries on the side. Okay. All right, well, I'll have the. There's a mosquito trying to get me. Tapa cheesecake and the Reuben sandwich, please. And I'll just have a house water. Okay. Please. And I'll hang on to this. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm just itching to tell you something, but I can't. I've had uh, some very, very good news. Uh, and you'll see, within a week, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, something really, really fantastic is coming up. <laughs> and I've been working on it this morning. I just can't wait. This is very nice. Thank you. I've ordered two dishes. And it should be way too much. Uh, and so I'll just take home whatever's left over. I just had a bit of a look around. There's no one here yet, so there's not much to, to video. but. Uh, it's, as I said before, a Cafe Mabini is right next door to Cafe Francesco and they're actually connected. And they're really beautiful places. Cafe Mabini is probably a less formal sort of cafe, whereas Francesco, Francesco is more, more of a restaurant, sort of bordering on fine dining, I suppose. But because the staff work in both areas, it rubs off. And for a cafe, the service so far has been sensational. So I've got some really interesting things coming up in the next week. 
Uh, and that's really all I've got planned for Manila because I want to get out of Manila as fast as I can. The idea is, at the moment, pending restrictions and everything else, that uh, I'll go to Balur, which is uh, on the, it's the northwest coast of Luzon. Uh, it's, I don't know, five, six hours by bus heading north from Manila over to the west coast. I want to go there, maybe learn how to surf, <laughs> uh, and then go from there straight back to Baguio and the surrounding areas, and then back to Pampanga, to Angeles and Clark. Clark. That's the plan. Simple, it's a simple plan, or it would be a simple plan if we weren't in level three restrictions. All right, what have we got? Oh, wow. This Look is the this. Tapa Cheesecake, sir. That's the Tapa Cheesecake. I wasn't expecting it to be a sandwich for some reason. Okay. And, and this is the Ruben sandwich. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the Rubens. <laughs> then ketchup, sir. Hot sauce in the middle. Hot sauce in the middle, ketchup, ketchup. Yes. All right. Enjoy your food, sir. Fantastic. Thank you very much. All right. We've got hot sauce in the middle and then ketchup, ketchup. But we'll just taste it first and see what it's like. It's... <laughs> it's just fantastic. Have a look at that. Big chunky slices of bread <laughs> and lots of corned beef, homemade corned beef. Mm. Sauerkraut, lots of butter on the bread. It's a big, messy sandwich. Oh. Oh, the pickle was just perfect. Mm. Well, I don't think it needs any hot sauce or, or ketchup. It's really juicy. It's really flavoursome. And extremely hearty. <laughs> French fries. Oh, this is just really hitting the spot. So it's about 10 o'clock a.m. It's a rather overcast day. The sun sort of comes out and then it goes away. So I hope you can see me. Um, a fantastic brunch, perfect brunch, if you're really, really hungry. And I think I would be struggling to get through all of this, but we'll see. Sauerkraut's nice. It's like a feast. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to try a little bit of hot sauce. really didn't add too much to it. <clears throat> I, I don't think I really need it. Thanks, sir. Or it needs it. Hi. How is it, sir? It's really, really nice. It's very hearty. Beautiful. It's big. Mm. See what I mean about the surface? Well, we've got to, <laughs> got to try the tapa cheesecake. <laughs> I was talking to Emma when we were at the beautiful Cafe El Bottega a couple of days ago. And I said, you know, we go to these, real, these really nice cafes and then we never go back. But, but the, the reason is that there's just, there are so many beautiful little cafes in Manila, all hidden away, um, that even after two years of specifically looking for these places, I'm finding more. 
So th there's a lot more. Th there's a lot more complexity of food to Manila than most people would imagine. All right, <clears throat> that's half. I've eaten half the Reuben sandwich, and it was delicious. And I'm um, seriously full. So this is the tapa cheesecake. Mm. The presentation's just beautiful. Really juicy. Again, really flavoursome. This is even more flavoursome than the Rubens. With these little chilies dotted through it, um, and just, oh, it's so juicy. I think this one wins. Oh, delicious. See all the chilies in there. It's so juicy. I've got the sandwich upside down because the bottom's falling apart. Well, that's a winner. I, th I think I was saying tapa cheesecake. It's tapa cheese steak. It's 425 pesos. Oh, it's just delicious. Sourdough bread. Fantastic. The Reuben sandwich, which was fabulous, uh, was 475 pesos. <clears throat> and I'm struggling to eat half, the, the, the half of this um, tapa cheese steak. I'm absolutely full. I'm full to here. So you can see it's pretty good value. Delicious and filling. I'm going to order a latte. What's what's this Baraco coffee? Baraco, Baraco. coffee looks like a uh, good coffee. Thing. It's good coffee. Yes, yeah, that's a good coffee. Okay. All right. Well, I'll have a Baraco latte, Bar please. Baraco latte. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I'm just taking some photographs of the food to send to Emma <laughs> because this is her lunch. This is the Baraco coffee. Ooh, don't know anything about it. it. Smells very chocolatey. It tastes like a brewed coffee. It's all right. Thank you very much. Um, could you possibly... Um, yeah, turn them into takeout. Thank you very much, and they were really delicious. Thank you, so much. Thank you, Jocelyn. <laughs> Emma's at my place cleaning at the moment. I just sent her some photographs of the food. <laughs> and she's gone, oh wow, sounds good. So she can't wait for her Reuben sandwich and her tapa cheese steak to arrive. Great, thank you very much. So it's 980 pesos, works out to 900 pesos for the two sandwiches and then there's 80 for a service charge. This is it. I left a tip because the service was really good, really good. I've got my bag, or Emma's bag, <coughs> and uh, I'll be taking off soon, I'll call a grab taxi. Uh, we are this close, beautiful people, to 25,000 subscribers. I think we're about 24,975. Uh, and so this year I really want to ramp the channel up and, and, and consolidate what I've been working on for nearly, in fact, it's, it's pretty much two years now. Um, I know I'm not going to set the world on fire with videos like this, but I can promise you there will be a lot more diversity and a lot more travel to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat>
So, got it. Just waiting for my grab taxi. Cafe Mabini. There it is. Very nice place. And uh, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it.